RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television, proudly presents... Screen Director's Playhouse, star Betty Grable, production When My Baby Smiles at Me, director Walter Lang... Hollywood screen directors present a love lyric of show business. The motion picture musical romance, When My Baby Smiles at Me, starring Betty Grable in her original role of Bonnie. This is a story of a boy and a girl who met in burlesque in the wonderful, ridiculous 1920s. The 1920s, a time all of its own, with a language all of its own. Speak or speakeasy. Speakeasy, a secret place known to everybody where the gin rummies of the 20s got set. Whoopie. A noisy product that people were always making. See Cantor, Eddie. Cake eater. An elegant fella, smooth number. A wolf in chic's clothing. Burlesque. The West Point of some of our greatest entertainers, including Skid Johnson and Bonnie Kane. I was Skid's and Bonnie's boss. I saw this happen. The 1920s, burlesque, curtain going up. We, oui, we, oui, Marie. If you do Zeke's for me, then I'll do that for you, Wee oui, Wee oui, Marie. Hiya, Bonnie. Lefty. Has Skid shown up yet? I had the boys combing every speakeasy in Kansas City, Bonnie. This is the third time this week Skid's gone on a bat. But he's on the wagon. Yeah. Oh, he promised. Yeah, yeah. Hey, did you see your good-looking admirer in row three again? Yeah, he's a swell guy, but I told him I was married. Oh, he's got it bad, Bon. And he's a cattle king with a ranch out west, and he's got... Hi, it's him, Lefty. Hiya, Skid. Hiya, Bonnie. You miss me. And where have you been again? Shooting pool. I suppose that's pool room air on your breath, too. Grade A. Uh, excuse me, kids. Oh, there's a telegram on a dressing table for you. Yeah, probably someone wanted to borrow money we ain't got with security nobody's got in this business. With your talent, Skid, we could have plenty of security. Where's your ambition? Ambition? What's that? Hey, get a load of this. The answer is no. We can't lend what we have to Well, listen, got. listen. Half chance to place you a new Sam Harris show. Skid! Salary, 500 per week. Would have to be here Sunday latest to start rehearsals. Wire and confirm Jack Curtis. Hey, Bonnie, this is it. This is the chance you're always raving about. Yeah. Your chance to beat it to New York after that no-talent redhead you went off your nut about. Who? When? When I was in the hospital in Des Moines. Who? Who? I suppose you didn't know that Sylvia Marco is dancing in New York now. Oh, Oh, her. Yeah, her. Well, gee, Bonnet, it's just a coincidence. Coincident, my eye. Well, you can stop blowing off because I'm not going. Who said you're not going? Since when does what you say settle things around here? Look, I gotta go make up for my and act. And after your act, you'll just have 50 minutes to get that makeup off and catch the train for New York. Oh, but, Bonnie, I wouldn't have a chance in the big time. Now, do you think I'd let you go if I didn't think you were ready? Oh, baby. Yes, some baby. I wouldn't know what to do without you. We're on in ten minutes. Let's kill him, honey. By the way, how would you like to marry me? Oh, I'd like to very much. Ha <laughs> ha! But I'm afraid my husband would object. Ho, oh, oh. ho! You wouldn't kid me, would you, lady? I would if I could, mister. I would if I could. <laughs> be a laugh if I flopped to New York. You won't, baby. 
You won't. Oh, baby. You're some baby. What'll I do without you? Huh? Hello, operator. Operator, this is Bonnie Kane in 805. Are you sure there hasn't been a call from me from New York? My husband opened in a sh t show tonight, and he said... There hasn't? I'll, I'll keep waiting. Ring me any time if he calls, no matter how late. Why doesn't he call? Please call, Skid. Don't go out. Don't get drunk. Stay away from it, Skid. Please call. Please call. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, operator. It's my alarm clock. Ring. Call. Why doesn't he call? Hello? Oh, darling. How are you? How was it? How did it go tonight? Oh, wonderful. I knew you'd do it. I just knew it. What? No, no, I'm not crying. I'm very happy. Very happy. What? Oh, thank you, darling. I wish I was there, too. Yes. Yes. Yes, dear, I, I know you got to get back to your public and everything. Write me a letter once in a while, and... Thank you, darling, for calling. Yes. Goodbye. Don't forget to write. Good night, honey. Good night. Mr. Harris. Uh, excuse me, just a minute. Uh, Mr. Harris. Uh, what's in your mind, Skid, besides being Broadway's newest sensation? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I, I just called Cincinnati, and I got a great idea. You know where you've been wanting to stretch that Bowery routine to give you more time to change for the big staircase number? Yeah. Well, I used to do a pretty funny bit called Playtime in Paris that might be just what you're looking for. Uh, maybe. How long is the bit? Any length you want it, Mr. Harris, and it's a yell from start to finish, and I know just the girl for it. Bonnie Kane. She's doing a show in Cincy, but I can get her here in 24 hours. I have a girl in mind myself I'd like to give a chance. Her name is Sylvia Marco. Marco? Uh, let's try it out in the morning, eh, Skid? Yeah, Mr. Harris. Swell. When will I ever learn to keep my big mouth shut? Sylvia Marco. <laughs> Talk about Lulu. Talk about Sylvia Marco. She turns out to be great, and the act is in. With Marco. So she's a heck of a swell kid, it turns out. What should I do? Sit up in my hotel room every night? So we have a few laughs together, and pretty soon it gets into the papers. That's how it happens that the telephone rings in my room one morning after the night before. Who is it? It's Bonnie, downstairs in the lobby. I jump up and dash some water in my eyes and... Hide a few empty bottles here and there under the bed covers, under sofa cushions, and I'm, I'm almost ready. Just a second, baby. Cover that. On horseback, baby, on horseback. Skid. Oh, baby. Hey, hey, not in the corridor, baby, not in the corridor. Oh, baby, have I missed you. Oh. I'd never know it from the letters you didn't write. Well, baby, you're here now, where you belong. Only for one day. I'm a working woman, remember? Uh-huh. You just came down to check up on me, huh? It's about time, isn't it? My life is an open book. Sit down and I'll tell you any place. All right. But not there. Not on the... Bed. Bottles. A few. Not even a case. Skid. Yeah? About 
About this Sylvia Markham. We, we work together. But you're the one I'm nuts about. You know that, Bonnie. With me, it's got to be all or nothing. I'm funny that way. You've got to make up your mind, Skid. Me or Marco. Okay. That's the way you want it. I guess it'll have to be Marco. Skid. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm serious, Skid. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll tell Harris to give Marco the old heave hole. Now, let me get dressed and we'll do the time. We'll make whoopee. I put Bonnie on the train that evening. The next night, I, I took Sylvia Marco to a speakeasy just to, to break it easy that she had a go. So we did have a few little drinks. So the cops raided us. Got in the papers. Pictures and all. Me and Sylvia Marco. With me, a man has to make up his mind. With me, it's got to be all or nothing. I'm funny that way. I divorced Skid. I had to. Listening to the Screen Director's Playhouse production of When My Baby Smiles at Me, starring Betty Grable, and presented by RCA Victor. RCA Victor is one of the most famous and respected names in the world. The RCA monogram has been everywhere to the depths of the jungles on radio, to the bottom of the sea on sonar, and to the top of the sky on radar equipment, to great research hospitals on the electron microscope, and in television studios across the country. In fact, the great RCA research laboratories have brought Americans the finest electronic engineering so far possible to man. Today, Americans everywhere know that the great RCA Victor factories stand behind every superb technical feature of the 14 new 1950 television models and the service you obtain with an RCA Victor factory service contract. Here's wishing for your home a television set bearing the famous name RCA Victor. America's first, America's finest, America's favorite television. And now back to Screen Director's Playhouse production of When My Baby Smiles at Me, starring Betty Grable in her original role of Bonnie Kane with High Aberback as Skid Johnson. <laughs> Not a word from Skid after he was served the divorce papers. I knew he was proud. I knew he was hurt. But I couldn't sell Bonnie on it. She sure took it hard, but game. But that new song she opened with in Chicago was more than just a song with Bonnie. What did I do? What in the world did I do? Oh, where did you went? Oh, I'm broken bent. Say you left my heart with a terrible dent. I'm in confusion, in conclusion. I'm dying to know, baby, what did I do? What did I say? And where, oh, where in the world did you go? Mr. Howell. Hello, Bonnie. My most faithful public. Lefty said it'd be all right for me to wait for you here in your dressing room. Of course. It's nice to see you. Still selling cows? Still at it, Bonnie. How you been? Me? Oh, fine. Same old grind. I, uh, I read that you were getting a divorce. You did? Where? Variety. I've been keeping track of them. You just never give up, do you? Um... 
Where are you finding your papers? New York, my home state. Why? Well, it takes a long time there. Now, uh, my ranch is near Reno, and Mother would be awfully proud to have you come out there and stay with us. Me? On a ranch? Why not? Do you a lot of good, Bonnie. Me too. Why not? Yes. Why not? Why not? Divorced in Reno, engaged in Carson City to Harvey Howell. Then to New York with my wedding to Harvey only a week away. Lefty was in town and he dropped in to see me in my fancy suite at the Waldorf Astoria. I, uh, I just been wondering, Bonnie. Wondering what, Lefty? When you'd get around to asking me about Skid. We, uh, caught his show our first night in town. Are you and Harvey? Yes. How was Skid? Fried again? Plastered. But he was great up there. Yeah. For how long? Well, that's probably Harvey. He'll be glad to see you. Hiya, Bon. Skid. I brought some club soda and some stuff right off the boat to kill that soda taste. Well, well come in. Hiya, Skid. Lefty. Well, gee, it's swell to see you. I wondered if you could. Huh? Skip it. How long have you been in town, Barney? Four days. Couldn't you let me know you were here? Make yourself a drink, Lefty. Yeah. Couldn't you? I... We've been busy with wedding plans. Oh. Make myself a drink, too, Lefty. Yeah. When? Next week. Yeah. You ain't told me if you caught my show yet. Harvey and I caught it Tuesday night. <laughs> Plastered, wasn't I? Oh, stop it. Yeah, is everybody happy? Well, if it ain't Ted Lewis himself. Yes, sir. Now, when my baby, when my baby smiles at me, oh, smile, buddy. Come on, smile. He's everybody stop happy. It. Lefty, quit. What's the matter? What'd I do? Not a thing, Skid. I, I'm sorry, Skid. That song just, just kind of gets me sometimes, that's all. That's Harvey. Oh, Harvey! Come in! Doors unlocked! Hello, Bonnie. Hello, dear. Well, Lefty. Hi. Harvey, this is Skid Johnson. Oh, how are you, Mr. Johnson? Uh, I'm fine. Fine. You certainly enjoyed your show Tuesday night. Well, thanks. I, I guess I wasn't so hot, though. That's what Bonnie said, but you look fine to me. Yeah. Uh, how about a little drink? That sounds good. You know, you're getting a great gal when you get Bonnie, mister. I know it. I hope you appreciate her better than I did. There you are. Thank you. How about you, Bonnie? No, thanks, kid. Oh, why not? No, please. Oh, come on. Come on, join in the festivities. Come on. Hey, Lefty. Hmm? Lefty, play the wedding march. Skid, please. Play it, play it, I say. You'd better play it, Lefty. Okay. Fast, fast, play it fast. Do you take this gal to be a wedded wife? I do. I do. Do you take this man? Do you take this man? I do, I do, I do. To love and obey. I do. I do. Till death do you part. Till death do you part. Stop it, Skid. We do, Stop we it. do, we do. I now pronounce you man and wife. Man and wife. Man Skid. and wife. Man and wife. Man and wife. Skid, where are you going? I now pronounce you man and... Lefty. Yeah, I better go after him. Oh, please do something. Yeah, he's in bad shape. I didn't hear anything about Skid for weeks. Then I got a telegram from Lefty in Patterson, New Jersey to come at once. I arrived backstage while the show was on and found Lefty in his office, looking pretty miserable. I got your wire. 
What's it about? Skid? Yeah. Bellevue Hospital. Alcoholic ward. Oh, poor guy. Down and out. No job. I, uh... I needed a comic. I'll bet you did. I, uh... I gave him his job back here. He started off fine. Then he got to watching the entrances like he expected you to come in any minute. Yesterday, he took a powder, and we ain't been able to find him since. It's the same old story? Yeah. Uh, how's, how's Harvey? Harvey? Sorry, I missed the wedding. Oh, Harvey's on his ranch in Nevada. Nevada? I... Uh, uh, lefty. Skid. Hello, Lefty. Well... Bonnie? Can't you tell? Bonnie. Bon- Bonnie. Oh, don't, don't, darling. Hold me, honey. Let me hold you. Just for a minute. Skid. Skid, you, you've got to pull yourself together. I can't. You've got to go on. I can't. I'm all in. Bonnie, I'm all shot. Yeah, he, he's right, Bonnie. It's too late. He's done for. It's not too late. He's going on stage tonight. I'm going with him. Hear that, Skid? It's a swell house out there. Well, Bonnie, I- I'm shot. I'm done for. That's for you, Skid. It's for us. Come on, smile, honey. I stood in the wings watching him. Skid's brain was foggy, but but those feet were still educated. For a while, with Bonnie holding him up, he looked fair, just getting by. Then he began to go real bad. Skid was shaking out there, positively shaking. And so was I. Your cue, Skid. By the way. What? By the way, how would you like to marry me? Oh, I'd like to very much. Yeah, but but your husband, that that big rancher, would object. You must be wrong, mister. I'm not married to any rancher. What do you mean, you're not married to any rancher? I couldn't marry anybody I didn't love, Skid. I'm back with you. Bonnie. Keep dancing. You're doing fine. You mean that you're coming back to me? I am back. And you'll stick? For good. Lady, you wouldn't kid me, would you? I wouldn't kid you, mister. Even if I could. Baby. Hold it, boys, hold it. Is everybody happy? Yes! Me too, darling. Me too. This is Jimmy Wallington speaking. You have just heard the last act of When My Baby Smiles at Me, and our star, Betty Grable, with our guest screen director, Walter Lang, will be with us in just a moment. Next Friday, a winner of this year's Academy Award brings a favorite performance to the screen director's playhouse. Our story is the beloved Damon Runyon classic, Butch Finds the Baby. And recreating his original role will be Broderick Crawford with screen director Albert S. Rogel. Now, here again is tonight's star, Betty Grable. Oh, Betty, you were wonderful. I can see why they sing, I want a girl just like the girl who married Harry James. Well, now, thank you, Jimmy. Say, you know, Betty, just as the movie public enjoys that peaches and cream complexion of yours, I know they would also enjoy the color scheme of RCA Victor's beautiful little 45 RPM automatic phonograph, the Victrola 45. How do you like that maroon case with a gold color trip? 
I think it's the cutest looking phonograph I ever saw, Jimmy. And I love having the little 45 records all in the bright colors, too. Yes, they're so tiny, only seven inches across. And in such pretty colors that a leading American poet has described them as distilled rainbows. What poet? Me, of course. <laughs> What's more, 45 records cost from 25 to 50 percent less than the conventional 78 RPM size. Say, what kind of 45 records do the James family go in for? Well, we, we all like the six Bs. Well, I know the three Bs, Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms. Well, the other three are Barrel House, Boogie Woogie, and the Blues. That's good. Yeah, and one of my little girls really likes Western numbers, those riding and shooting tunes. Uh, do you suppose, Jimmy, she goes for them because her name is Jessie James? <laughs> well, it might be, Betty. But perhaps you could cool her down with a swell record by the Sons of the Pioneers, Cool Water. You know, that's in a special album of ten favorite records which RCA Victor has issued to celebrate the first birthday of the 45 RPM system. The album has records by Perry Como, Vaughn Monroe, Eddie Arnold, Freddie Martin, Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops, and seven other top names. Sounds awful easy on the ears, Jimmy. Yes, and it's awful easy on the budget, too, Betty. For a limited time, RCA Victor dealers are offering this big first anniversary album with every Victrola 45 purchased for the usual price for the Victrola 45 alone, only $29.95. Don't miss this best buy ever in recorded music. And happy listening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, six motion pictures is an important part of any actress's career. And for six pictures, I've been fortunate enough to be directed by, well, I call him Uncle Walter. And Uncle Walter is a kind of magician for the screen, full of deep knowledge and marvelous instruction. The creator of such grand films as State Fair and Sitting Pretty. Now, I'd like you to meet him. The director of When My Baby Smiles at Me, Walter Lang. Thank you, Betty. Your old uncle is proud of you. You did a grand job tonight. You know, some people might doubt that there are real troopers left, like Bonnie in tonight's story, but they're wrong. I know one. We've done six pictures together, and she's taken it on the chin in plenty of rough spots. Worked and danced when she could hardly stand up, but she never stopped smiling. Her name? Betty Grable. Thanks, honey, and good night, everyone. Good night to you, Betty Grable and Walter Lang. Remember next Friday, Academy Award winner Broderick Crawford in Butch Minds the Baby with screen director Albert S. Rogel brought to you by RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. When My Baby Smiles at Me was presented through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox, producers of Three Came Home, starring Claudette Colbert. Betty Grable may currently be seen in the 20th Century Fox Technicolor production, Wabash Avenue. Walter Lang's latest picture for 20th Century Fox is a Technicolor production, Cheaper by the Dozen, starring Clifton Webb. Included in tonight's cast were High Averback as Skid Johnson, Herb Vigran as Lefty, Barton Yarborough, Paul McVeigh, and Frank Barton. When My Baby Smiles at Me was adapted for radio by Milton Geiger. That original music was composed and conducted by Robert Armbruster. Screen Director's Playhouse is produced under the supervision of Howard Wiley, Associate Director Fred Hageland. Portions of the program were transcribed. You're invited to listen again next Friday when RCA Victor presents... Screen Director's Playhouse, star Broderick Crawford, production Butch Minds the Baby, director Albert S. Rogel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are the envied people. Envied by every other nation in the world. You enjoy the world's highest standard of living, made possible by our American economic system. This is Democracy in Action, where steadily increasing production goes hand in hand with the freedom of the individual. Freedom and enterprise have made the America of today. Together they will make a still better America tomorrow. Stay tuned for Jimmy Durante on NBC. NBC.